All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Walker Bee Ranch. Um, got a little bit of flying today in the bee yard. Got a bunch of flying on this colony. Um, however, reason I'm out here today is uh, it's getting late in the afternoon. It's calling for rain the next couple days, and uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, I was doing some quick inspections yesterday, trying to beat the rain, and. Uh, I just wanted to look in a colony that I put a peppermint patty in yesterday to see if they're taking it and uh, what we got. So uh, I marked the colony, this part of the peppermint experiment, um, P317, that's when I put it in there yesterday. And uh, what we've got is a, uh, I was doing a quick inspection and noticed that there was hive beetles under the pollen patty that was in there and uh, some larvae in the patty. So we're gonna see if they're taking the patty and uh, just what's going on in there. So bear with me and we'll get this thing popped open and we'll check it out together. All right, Let's see if I can do this holding the GoPro today. All right, inner cover came right out. All right, there is a hive beetle right there getting aggressed by the uh, by the bees running around um, this was a five frame nuke there is actually a hive beetle right now right there on top of the baggie two of them so they are right now still uh, still in there I don't have solid peppermint on this one currently um, but you can see there's hive beetles on top at the moment they are eating the bees are eating the peppermint patty uh, so that's good I want to pull it up to see what's underneath of the baggie I actually slid slit this baggie around all three sides here and I, I cut a spot in the bottom I didn't really have a method to it so we're gonna check it together to see what's going on if I can peel it off of here um, all right, so the pollen patty is open. They're eating it from the bottom. Um, so they are eating that. So we're gonna try to, hopefully I don't kill any bees doing it this way. Um, looks like I got a couple bees trapped in there right now since I lifted it up. All right, let's see if I can set you guys down here on the colony without getting you too uh, attacked. Uh, Get out of there, girls. You're, you're defeating my purpose there. There you go. We'll cover that back. So, as of yet, there are some um, some beetles in here. Now, with that being said, they were just running around on it. Um, we'll have to see over time if they actually are deterred by the peppermint in the patty. The bees, however, don't seem to be deterred by the peppermint in the patty, so that's a good sign. And uh, you can see the peppermint pee on the bag. So we'll see. And hopefully that drives helps drive out um, the beetles. But this is an experiment, so we'll have to follow it along and along to see how it goes. Um, what I might actually do is checkerboard some of these and spread them out a bit and, and try to get them to draw some more comb out so give me one second, I'll be right back. okay so I just che checkerboarded some foundation in um, that was already in the box I just rearranged it a bit to give them some more room to uh, to start drawing out brood comb uh, you can see that the pollen patty the peppermint pollen patty is over to the side so we're just gonna put that right back over the brood here. Right away they get back to work on it. And uh, we're gonna let them go to work. And we'll continue to follow to see how it does with the beetles. So really that's it for this colony right now and we'll just keep tracking it. And as I find hives with beetles in them, I'll pop more potty, patties on it. And see how it goes. All right, so this is monster monster hive, still aggressive. 
yesterday. I did a cutout of the queen cell and uh, put it right in there. It sticks out a little bit, but it uh, looks like they've attached it and worked it back together. And uh, we're going to uh, follow this one to see if that queen actually hatches. Uh, that came out of my demo ray. And, uh, and we'll see how that goes. So this is just a, basically an update from what happened yesterday. The, uh, they're really getting after it. And that queen is much gentler. The genetics of that colony are much gentler than this one. So hopefully they, uh, they will really settle down when uh, when the queen hatches. To give you an idea. Yes, I know I didn't smoke them, um, uh, but that's kind of give you an idea. They try to eat your face. All right, so monster hives all put back together. Need to really slide this up a little bit. Hold on. Square it up just a bit. There you go. And uh, the older bees in there might have a time. That may be a colony that in time I end up just merging with another colony um, if they can't clean, if we can't get them to clean up. But we do have uh, pretty good activity happening everywhere right now. Again, it's 70 degrees out today. Um, little small nuke I made. We'll see how that works out. I really need to get in this colony. That's probably going to happen this weekend. When I and I'm going to try to do some splits this weekend. This colony is uh, really kind of a uh, tough one. They're pretty aggressive too, so we'll take a look at them. This colony over here is one that I uh, that I added some space to yesterday and did some checkerboarding, so hopefully they got plenty of work to do in there. We'll call this the uh, Ukrainian hive with the blue and the yellow. But uh, we'll see how that fares out. Let's see. Then I got this itty bitty nuke over here. Really need to flip this box over. It's holding too much water. And they're still hanging out in there, so let's we'll see how they do. I'll try to walk away and see if the bees thin out on my face. Uh, we do have some activity on Nuke Row today. We'll see. A few bees in there. Not a lot. Had a few bees going up in here. Yeah, I had some bees checking this place out in here. Keep that closed. Maybe I'll catch a swarm in there. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, what's been going down. Not really nothing happening in there. Nothing happening in there. Just never know if I lose a swarm and maybe I'll catch them in one of my own colonies. Got bees checking this colony out over here. So I'm pretty sure ain't nothing in that box. Yeah, just a few bees hanging out in there. And then the open feeder's doing their thing. Pick this box up. No need to let my boxes rot. And I heard a... Uh, and I heard something fall over here, so I don't know if a branch fell, a piece of this roof fell in this building.
Hard to tell. But they're on the open feeder. Someone was asking me earlier how to keep the bees out from the inside. I just jam a little stick in there. And they will still sometimes somehow get that stick out of there and move it. But it works pretty good. Pretty good. All right, everyone. So this was just a quick update before the weather moves in. Um, going to do some better videos. It's my intention. Um, when the weather clears up a little bit, we've had weather coming in and out and uh, all kinds of stuff. So it's my intention to make uh, some some better footage as, uh, as the weather clears up and uh, just an update that my new extracting equipment has a tentative date of being here on the 21st so i've got a lot of work to do um but anyway thank you for watching uh please like share and subscribe and we'll continue to bring you beekeeping content talk to you later bye